Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. So what I'm going to share with you today is a tool to get rid of ego. <laughs> but before I go into giving you the tool, because the tool I'll give to you at the end, I'm just going to share a little bit about ego and identity. To me, ego and identity are one and the same thing. It's a construct that we create to protect us from life. It's there to help ensure that we survive and to ensure we get our human needs met. Now, just to very briefly run through the human needs so that you're aware of what they are, there's the need for consistency. And that's a need to know that tomorrow you're going to wake up and you're going to be able to survive in the world. You're going to have enough food, you're going to have shelter, you're going to have clothes, you're going to, you're going to have what you need to physically survive in the world. We also have a need for variety, which is in complete contrast for the need for consistency. And variety is for excitement, to, for, for things in our life to help us grow and to experience more in the world. And it's my belief that uh, the people that have midlife crisis are people that have had too much consistency in their life till they can't take it anymore. They've gone to the same job day after day, meeting the same people, doing the same things, until eventually they just can't handle it anymore and they crave some kind of variety. So those are two of them. The next two are also in contrast to the others, to each other. There's one which is a need to belong. It's a need to be loved, to feel part of a community, to feel like you belong in society, in your society, in your group of people or your industry or whatever it is. But then there's also a need to stand out and you can't belong and stand out all at the same. So it's all about balancing the two and standing out is a need to believe that you are unique, that you are valuable, that there's something about you that's special. Now these needs I've got from Tony Robbins and I see that these particular four that I'm sharing with you now are our basic human needs. There are two other needs that he also shares, and that's a need to grow for growth and a need to give back, a need to have value in this life that we're in. And I see those as more conscious needs because I don't think everybody has the sort of drive to fulfill those two needs as much as they do to fulfill the first four that I shared with you. And I believe that your identity, your ego, is constructed to get those first four needs met. And how we go about it is different from person to person. And you learn as you grow. So you learn from the people that you're around. You watch your parents, you watch your siblings, you watch your grandparents, whoever's around you, whichever of you, you know, whichever uh, caregivers you have, you watch and you learn how they get those needs met. Do they use manipulation? Are they people pleasers? Do they get angry and use force? What do they, what personality traits have they developed to ensure that they get those needs met? Now, our personality is there to get those needs met, but it's also there to ensure that we survive in the physical world that we live in. So our identity, the thing that we think is us, our personality, is not really the truth of who we are. It's an adaptation that we have learnt to evolve into, that we have created to ensure that we survive in the world and we get our human needs met. But there's a part of us, something much, much deeper, which I call our truth, um, it's also called the soul. Um, to me, I see it as a spark of source, of God, whatever it is you want to call it, that resides, that is us. When I look back over my life, I've changed. I can't, I can't even, when I sort of look back at who I was in my 20s, I can't even really associate with who I was in my 20s. But there's a part of me that as far back as I can remember was still the truth of me. It was there when I was a, a very small child. It was there when I was in my early teens. It was there in my late teens, in my 20s, my 30s, right into my 40s. And it's the truth of who I really am. And when you connect with that part of you, you realise that it is eternal. It can never be destroyed, it can never be rejected, um, it cannot be hurt, damaged or broken in any way, shape or form, even though we think it can be. And part of our personality that we've developed, this ego personality identity, 
is there to protect our truth. But when you truly connect to your truth, you realise that it doesn't need protecting. And one of the other things about the identity, which is really quite interesting, is that if it is threatened or challenged, or if something is learnt that it doesn't, doesn't sit comfortably with it, that shakes its view of itself, you can become very defensive. Defensive, hurt, aggressive, um, all sorts of things get evoked in you to protect this identity that you have created. Now I'm sharing all of this because I'm building up to giving you a tool. <laughs> and that tool is, it's so simple, it's learning to laugh at yourself. The less seriously you take your identity ego, your personality that you've created, the less it has a hold over you. And the freer you become to be the truth of who you really are. So developing the ability to laugh at yourself, to laugh at the mistakes you make, and to realise you're only human, and that that is not who you truly are, um, gives you the freedom to live more fully, to live more expansively and to live more joyfully. I hope you've enjoyed this very little <laughs> snippet of something that I'm sharing with you today. It's something that I, I, mean, I could go on and on about it for hours and I find it endlessly fascinating in myself and in others. But I hope um, that in time you will get to know the real truth of who you are. And if you want to do that with me, it's something I do with my clients, then you're welcome to connect with me through my website and all my contacts are on there as well, well as many other resources. I also have a number of free courses with the links to that will be in the show notes below. So much love from me to you and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.